All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson 14. And in this lesson, students are gonna be constructing parallel line segments. They're gonna be talking about, really what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna look at some parallel lines. They're gonna look at the points that created those parallel lines, specifically line segments. And then they're gonna look for some patterns in those coordinate pairs. The idea is if you take a couple of points, create a line, and then slide them over and then look at the line. Hey, not only are the lines parallel, but there's a really cool pattern in relation to this line here and over here when you slide it and then this line here. There's a cool little pattern that's gonna happen with our coordinate pairs. Now, the important thing, parents and teachers, is according to me, you know, this is just my opinion, um, it looks like this content and our sub subsequent lessons are gonna be beyond the fifth grade standards. If you look at the fifth grade standards, it's talking about identifying parallel uh, perpendicular lines, they're the parallel lines, it's locating the points on a grid. Um, but we're really, this lesson seems to go beyond what the standards are asking for. So take that into consideration if uh, time is an issue, or if your students really seem to be struggling with this, consider that this might not be a fifth grade standard in the first place. So let's get started. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a look at, oh, let's say I'm going to put a point here at 1, 4, and I'm going to put a point here at 3, 3. All right. And there are our points, and I will draw that line segment. All right, so there's our line segment, and I do want to put the points, and I want to be explicit about that. So this is 1, 4, and this is 3, 3. All right, now the idea is, well, if I wanted to take each of these points and slide them over a certain number of units, it's got to be the same in both cases, um, well, then... Uh, what's going to happen? So let's take this point and let's slide it. Oh, let's do two and a half. So I'm going to take this point and I'm going to slide it over one, two and a half. And so that puts the dot. It's one, two and a half right there. All right. So I've slid it over one, two and a half. Now let's do, do the same thing here. So it's going to be one, two and a half. And so our new dot would go here. So really all I did was take each of these points and slide them over two and a half units. And there's my line. And you can see, yep, we got parallel lines. Now what's going to happen to the um, coordinates? Well, it, this one is now, let's see, where is it now? It's down here. So it's three and a half is our x coordinate and 4 is our y coordinate. So it's 3 and a half, 4. And then right here, 5 and a half is our x coordinate, and the y coordinate is 3. All right. So now what we're going to do is we want to look to see if we can identify some sort of pattern. Well, we can see that here, this y coordinate is 4 and this one is still 4 while here this y coordinate was 3 and this y coordinate is 3 so we could see that the y coordinates did not change at all because the the line just the point just slid to the right but our x coordinates did change and how did our x coordinates change well this one went from 1 to 3 and a half so that added by 2 and a half, and here the x coordinate also added by two and a half. So there's our nice little pattern, and we can kind of see. So that's really what this lesson is kind of about: is looking for the relationships uh, between the coordinate pairs as the line is slid, or as the points are slid over, or elevated, or lowered. Um, because I didn't have to take these points and slide them to the right, I could have taken these points and slid them down or slid them up. Uh, and we would have gotten a slightly different pattern. Um, so that's the point, is looking for patterns in our coordinate pairs.
So I'm not going to do every single problem in this, partially because it is a little bit beyond the scope of our fifth grade standard. So the first thing I will do, however, is, hey, let's identify the locations of M and N. So I can see that six, uh, M is located at 6, 4, 6, 4, and I can see that N is located at 3, 6. All right. Now it says, plot the following coordinate pairs on the line. So I'm going to plot 5, 7, and I'm going to plot 8, 5. So let's do 5, 7. So, and I'll do that in blue. Oh, I forgot. We were supposed to draw this line. Well, there it is. There's, there's our line. Okay, so now we're going to plot 5, 7. Okay, so 5, 7 is going to be right there. And then uh, 8, 5. So I'm supposed to locate 8, 5. So here's 8, and there's 5. So 8, 5, right there. And then connect the dots. La, la, la. All right. Now, what is our relationship down here? Are these perpendicular, which is that un upside down T? I'm going to zoom in here. Is it the perpendicular, which is the upside down T, or are they parallel, which is that parallel sign? And we can see that our two lines are definitely parallel. So we're going to circle this guy right here. And then what we're supposed to do is give any two uh, points, create any two points, so that we have another line that is parallel to this guy. So what we could do is we could, if we wanted to, we could take each of these points and just drop it by three or two or whatever. So if we wanted to, we could just drop it by two. So I'll, no, let's drop it by three. So I'm going to take this point and just drop it by three. And then I'll take this point and drop it by three. And boom, automatically, we have a line that is parallel to the original line. And so what we could do is we could look and say, hey, wait, it's still, um, this coordinate is still six, just like it originally was, but we dropped it by three, so it's going to be six, one. And sure enough, that's where it is, six, one. And then we can see that this coordinate is, is still three, the x coordinate is still three, but the y coordinate got dropped by three. So it becomes 3, 3. So it used to be 3, 6, and now it's 3, 3. So that's the idea. This is absolutely more of the same. The only difference is now we're going to have some uh, fractions involved, possibly. Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, so we're going to record the locations. I will do that because that's part of the fifth grade standard. So A. A is right here, and it's at 4, 3.5. And if you need to, pause the video and make sure you understand how I got four, three and a half. And then B is located at two and three. So the X coordinate is two, the Y coordinate is three, so the coordinate pair is two, three. And we're supposed to draw the, the line, so I'm going to draw that line right, oops, I'm, I don't have a straight edge with my computer, so that's about as good as I could get. And then it says, Coordinate, uh, generate coordinate pairs for C and D such that it's parallel to the original line, AB. All right, so what could we do? Well, one thing we could do is we could just drop the two points, a couple of things, a couple of units if we want, or we could take these two points and move them to the right. We have a choice. I think what I'll do is, oh, let's let's move it one whole unit, which is actually two little spaces because they're going by halves. So if I wanted to and create a parallel line, I'll drop it by one whole unit. And what are our new coordinate points? I'll draw the line. Our new coordinate points is 2, 2, and 4, 2.5. So 2, 2, and 4. Oops, you know what? I'm going to switch that. I'm going to switch it, and I'm going to put, let's see, the 4, 2.5 right here. 
There's my C. And then I'm going to do the 2, 2 right here, and there is my D. And so what did you notice? Well, you should be noticing that the X coordinates stayed the same. 4 still is 4, and the 2 still is 2. But the Y coordinate dropped by 1, because that's what we did. We dropped it by 1. So 3.5 became 2.5, 3 becomes 2, and that's the idea. And that wraps up, let's see, that wraps up 5th grade, Module 6, Lesson 14. We're constructing parallel line segments and talking about the patterns that we're noticing amongst the coordinate pairs as you're taking your line, which is right here, and then you're just kind of dropping it down the same amount in both cases. Now you have a new line that's still parallel. Now the big thing, folks, parents and teachers, is consider do you want to do this at all because it is does seem to be a little bit beyond the uh, fifth grade standards, except for the fact that throughout the whole time we are locating points, and that's definitely an important fifth grade standard.